creatives. Welcome to my channel, Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm here at the gallery where I'll take some time to take a look at famous artists' creative paths through reading Cards of Truth birth charts. If you'd like a better understanding about this process of combining Western and Vedic astrology with the overlay of the ancient archetype meanings of the 52 playing cards, you'll find a link in the description box below. Today I'm taking an in-depth look at the artist Georgia O'Keeffe, who was born on November 15, 1887 at 6.30 a.m. after sunrise, which makes her a five of clubs and a Scorpio. The um, other five of clubs birth dates are, let's see here, um, March 31st, April 29th, May 27th, June 25th, July 23rd, August 21st, September 19th, October 17th, November 15th, and December 13th, after sunrise. If it's before sunrise, you are actually the card of the day before. I'll put a link in the description box below so that you can find your birth card and birth chart. If you are a five of clubs, no matter your zodiac sign, it will look just like George's. Only your cusp and planet placements will be different and your zodiac sign will give it a whole nother connotation. So let's first talk about the meaning of the club suit in general. Clubs are intellectual, knowledge-seeking beings in search of inspiration. They relate to the air element, which gives them a restless energy. And they are a black suit, which gives them the young, action-oriented quality. Clubs are naturally inclined to seek philosophical meanings with uh, creative ideas. And the club suit encompasses humor and lightheartedness, as well as all of the intellectual learning connotations, such as books, communication, school. They make progress through mindful activity. Now, the five of clubs are an energetic being. They are all about living um, an existence of exploration and experimentation by rethinking ideas. This is Source's way of guiding you, five of clubs, um, for your greater, greater purpose, sorting through all the things that catch your attention to see what works for you, as well as learning greatly from what doesn't. The ruling planet of all fives, no matter the suit, is Jupiter, the meaning of which is expansion, change, and eventual happiness. Judgment is the relating tarot card, and the meaning of which is a time for self-evaluation. It's um, like you're at the crux and in need to purge, um, to let go of what's hindering you so that you can move on to something that's more supportive. Okay, so let's take a look at George's Five of Clubs chart. So upper left is the birth chart with the Five of Clubs right there at the top. Middle top is the yearly chart, then upper right is the day. Second row below, bottom left is the seven years, then bottom middle is weekly, and at the bottom right, down to the minute, giving the reader an extraordinary overview to divine with. But for today, let's take a closer look at the upper left birth chart of George's. Now, all five of clubs share the same birth chart card placements, no matter what month you were born in. But what makes a significant difference in a reading is where your planets and cusp placements are on the day and time of your birth. Your zodiac sign will bring its own interesting differences. You can see the five of clubs right here at the top. I'd have to say that a pretty much common thread for all Five of Clubs people is that they learn best by trial and error, figuring out what is best for them after a bit of experimentation and exploration. And that trial and error is reinforced by what is called 
the supporting underlying five of hearts. Here, the hearts are all about emotions and fulfillment, peace, and pleasure. Fives are about movement and letting go of what's not working for a better quality of life. Then here is the motivating, overlying card. This is the Four of Clubs. Being an even card, it brings an appreciation for stability and comforts. Before we take a look at the rest of the chart, I have to say that George's astrological planetary setup is interesting and telling, but once the cards of truth meanings are added, it becomes incredibly revealing about her path of creativity. Let's take a quick look at what we know about her in general. So George's astrology chart indicates a smoldering mystic and magnetic persona. She would not go unnoticed in a crowd, giving off a good sense of control and self-awareness. She has her sun sign, Scorpio, those here to experience life through a series of mini epiphanies, births and deaths, if you will, of realizations. Her moon, as to how she'd handle her emotions, and Jupiter, her ruling planet, remember, of the crisis, change, and eventual joy. Mercury, the communications and her style of, and her rising sign, same as her birth sign, Scorpio, all in the first house of self. George's chart has mostly water, so that indicates heart and emotions were her driving force. There isn't much fire element in her chart, so she may have come off well, as a little distant, and in my opinion, adding to the mystique. All right, well, let's get back to the chart and have a look at what is in her sun placement. So the cards of truth charts are read left to right, and right here is the sun placement. Georgia has a sparkly three of diamonds. The three, being an odd number in the diamond suit, adds a desire to improve upon one's skills, position, and lot in life. The sun is the strongest influence in the chart, so it would give Georgia a powerful desire to search for something better in life, something more stable, concrete, emotionally, and physically. For her, being an intellectual five of clubs, and a Scorpio, it would be likely that she would feel it mostly by experiencing the ups and downs in life, as those many rebirths and deaths of realization in life. Not always a mini, <laughs> they can be big too. Having her natal Saturn here, see that symbol right there, Saturn, um, teaches Georgia that the serious lesson that she reaps what she sows it's the strong placement for such lessons, especially when related to her soul's potential as her Rahu right here, or her North Node is here as well. Georgia learned these lessons early in her childhood with moving and sickness that would shape her outlook on life. With her being an acknowledgeable seeking five of clubs combined with the three of diamonds, this would add a sharp and perhaps dark sense of humor about the constant search for something more grounded as the underlying card, which we have right here, which is supporting. This is a six of hearts. It's an emotional rewarding stabilizer. This would suggest, and the strong-minded quick wit of the queen of diamonds right here, that's the motivating overlying card. In my opinion, it would give her a self-deprecating and intellectually charming wit as well. Georgia was born in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin on a wheat farm. She was the second of seven children, and apparently Georgia had an early curiosity about the natural world and developed an early interest in becoming an artist. Her mother encouraged her and arranged lessons with the local artists in the area. Two of her sisters and both grandmothers also enjoyed painting, so they naturally supported her in her love of art as well. So let's look at her moon placement. 
The Ace of Spades in her moon placement is pretty unencumbered and straightforward. The spades are all about physical and mental health. It's how physically and mentally stable she would be. Aces are beginnings, such as births of ideas and epiphanies. Georgia's isn't hindered by any challenging planets here. So she would have had plenty of self-actualization to discover a deeper innate truth about herself and life a natural path for a Scorpio. Being in the moon position signifies willingly being open to change and connection. Having the ninth cusp here, right there, was a beautiful and strategic move by Source. It's all about luck and philosophy, long journeys with purpose. That means journeys of the mind and inner self as well as outer physical journeys. The ninth cusp also relates to higher education in whatever field you choose. A five of clubs dream. <laughs> this tells me that she was emotionally secure and mentally stable, having the ace of spades here. She would have spent some of her alone time contemplating her lot in life and how things evolve in the world at large. Both the five of clubs and being a Scorpio support this. It would definitely add depth and mystique to her personality and art. Georgia continued her education in Madison at the strict and exclusive high school, the Sacred Heart Academy. She stayed with her aunt when her family needed to relocate to Williamsburg, Virginia. Georgia, it's said, was already an independent spirit at 15 and showing her uniqueness as a budding artist when she joined them there later. During this time, she and her family fell on hard times. Georgia was hit with typhoid fever, and her mother with tuberculosis, and her father's business went bankrupt, forcing Georgia to leave school and start to work as a young commercial artist. That three of diamonds in her son placement really made an Oscar-winning appearance here. So Mars shows us how we deal with crisis in general. So Georgia, as all five of clubs, have the spiritual number seven of hearts here. The seven of hearts is known as the heartbreak card. It indicates a lot of highly challenging emotional cycles. I find it fascinating that she has all these significant planets here. Scorpio's ruling planet is Mars. So in the cards of truth, you see the symbol right here for her sun sign, her rising sign, that's the planet of self, the moon sign, how she deals with her emotions, and Mercury, that's your communication styles, and Jupiter, which, as you know, is the ruling planet of fives. So the ruling planet that brings change through crisis and all that always for improvement. So what's the influence of the seven of hearts here? Well, it's intense <laughs> and potent and high emotional processing of her disappointments and satisfactions. It's wonderfully supported that it has this sturdy platform in which to operate from. There's an underlying, emotionally secure, eight of hearts, right? But it's also driven by the ace of spades, her motivation. Then, on top of all of that, there is the sixth cusp right here. Now, the sixth cusp is about obstacles and enemies. Also, intelligent problem-solving and telling me that here in the active planet of Mars would have handled, she, she would have handled her enemies and obstacles with a strong, swift, decisive hand, as well as being able to give a good tongue lashing when she felt like it. <laughs> Whatever is in the Mercury placement shows your style of giving and receiving communications. Having her natal Mars here gives Georgia a high vibration of mechanical thinking, like an engineer. 
heightened more so by the fact that our active Mars and thinking Mercury have taken each other's ruling planet placements. So you can see there's Mercury in the Mars and Mars in the Mercury. The Seven of Diamonds is another gateway card, spiritual, known as the Millionaire card, as it is the try, try again card until you succeed. This would encourage her to never give up seeking for answers to her stability, as it's a diamond suit of finances and skills. She would always be inclined to further her natural skills as an artist, and the Seven of Diamonds is a semi-fixed card, meaning that it always has the same beautifully supporting Nine of Hearts as underlying and overlying. The Nine of Hearts is known as the Big Wish Fulfilled card. Her midheavens here, marked with an X, also relates to where you will find your rewards and satisfaction on your life path, as well as a career path, indicating that she wouldn't give up easily. Pluto is here as well, right there. So Pluto <laughs> is the planet that likes to expand, blow things up even, good or bad, it doesn't matter, it doesn't discriminate. It tells us that her life changes and challenges or rewards happened on an epic level and her need to communicate them obviously was through her art. Georgia has the 8th and 11th cusp here. These have to do with, well, the eight cusp has to do with sudden change, as well as facing your addictions and weaknesses, your longevity, and what you seek from other people. The 11th is rewards, or awards, I should say, and what you desire most, as well as your peers, lends and supports beautifully to a creative path. The Five of Spades here is fairly uncomplicated in the Jupiter placement. Jupiter is expansion and change for eventual happiness, and the Fives are change through hit and miss crises. And the Spades are physical and mental health. And let's not forget that the Jupiter is the ruling planet of the Fives. So it adds a lot of weight to this. So this tells me that this combination has a purpose to understand that facing your challenging crises and feeling the need to cut out what's not healthy in order to let in the clear and necessary parts of life. Supporting this is the emotionally stable underlying Ten of Hearts and the security of the somehow always having enough overlying Four of Diamonds. It also has the second, fourth, and fifth cusp here. Now, that adds the where and how meanings. The second would be understanding how this is necessary for your resources and worth, her close environment, including family and friends, and her natural talents. The fourth cusp reflects her home, her mother, and happiness, as well as being the art cusp. The fifth, cusp is all about creativity, consistency, and education. Altogether, it tells me that Georgia was asked to rise out of the ashes of crises and change for the better, with her cusp placed here with her family as well as her art career and time, time again. Here in the Venus placement is the Jack of Hearts. The Jack of Hearts is a fixed card, meaning you can always depend on it having the same underlying and overlying card itself. So it's pure Jack of Hearts. And it's also known as the Artist card and the Lover's card in any walk of life. Whatever you do, you do it like it's an art with charisma and charm. It's just beautiful. Then potent that she has all this artistic energy and imagination here with her natal Venus in the Venus placement and the planet of beauty, love, and satisfaction, Uranus, 
which makes us unique in other people's eyes usually, something we don't necessarily see ourselves, and Neptune, the illusionary dreamy planet, taking the energy of the jack of hearts to a higher vibration. The seventh cusp is all about business and romantic partnerships, as well as the public. So this supports George's natural charming characteristics to be an attention magnet, as well as making her art a viable financial business. The seventh, I'm sorry, the, the twelfth cusp is also here. And this is all about results of battles with your secret enemies or frenemies and how Georgia would connect it with her contemplations and meditations. Some deep thinking here about her creature comforts and what she would hold near and dear. Looking at Georgia's life in hindsight is such an advantage, as we know she was amazingly self-assured, independent, and focused. She instinctively knew what was good for her. Eventually, she was able to take art classes again that influenced her to break from realism and develop a more abstract style. This led her to New York and her future husband, through her friend Anita Pulitzer. Anita showed the drawings to Alfred Stieglitz, a photographer who owned a forward-thinking art gallery in New York. The gallery introduced the avant-garde works of modern European and American artists. Alfred was 23 years her senior. The Nine of Clubs here in the Saturn placement is fairly uninfluenced by any planets. Saturn is the planet that hands you a good dose of reality checks about reaping what you sow. All nines are known as the right direction card, and all are on a path about letting go and letting source guide you. It's about complete surrender to the divine, uh, the divine universe, and adopting the notion that we are all necessary, loved, and here for a reason with valid ideas and plans. Here you see her natal placement of K2, the south node of what you bring with you from a past life. Hers is the two of hearts, as you can see right here. That's the symbol for the south node, the K2. And it brings a message of acceptance of an even deeper even deeper message of acceptance. There is the underlying Queen of Hearts right there, lending a loving and energetic support and the overlying motivation of being grounded by the Six of Diamonds. Beautifully stabilizing and a strong self-assurance. The Third Cups gives courage to do the shadow work to be realistic about herself, her talents, and her ambitions. Skills and energy levels, it's also your siblings. So hopefully she had their good support and counsel. Next, we have the North and South nodes. So let's start with K2, the South node, the Two of Hearts. The Two of Hearts tells us that she brought with her from a past life a natural, easy, kind way of connecting to what she needed and wanted. It's another semi-fixed card that reliably has the Ace of Clubs as supporting with an endless new ideas and a great card to have as a motivator as well. The North Node, or the Rahu, has the nine of spades. It is what you need to realize or understand and conquer to complete your divine mission. An interesting one to have because it's known as the yogi card. It again is about surrender in order to develop a friendship with the divine. All nines have an ending connotation as it is completion and conclusion of the pip suit before moving on to the face cards. It's beautifully motivated by the under, I mean, the overlying six of spades, the healthiest card in the deck, and supported with the loving kindness of the underlying king of hearts. And again, with the king of hearts, it's her ecliptic. 
just beautiful. It's a highly challenging card to have as an ecliptic or otherwise known as the umbrella card because the king, um, being a king, it gives the entire chart a noble purpose from which she would feel compelled to operate from. Because kings have characteristics of sacrifice, Georgia may have felt the need to give of herself for the greater good. Of course, she would have done that by expressing what she wanted to share through her art. She would have had a deep, compassionate knowing of the world, her placement in it. As you can see, it has the yogi card, the nine of spades that we talked about as the impetus and the knowledge connecting two of clubs as supporting, just really very strong. The three outer planets are great ones to have as well. The king of diamonds in the Uranus placement on a high vibe personal level. It indicates having strong values and a charitable nature. Uranus is the planet that shows your uniqueness, mostly in other people's eyes, not so easy for yourself to see. So it shows how dynamically magnetic she would be to the public in general. Can't get much more sparkly than this. The challenge would be not to get to too single-minded, as this king is known as the one-eyed king, but it would most likely appear to be a strength for her, her steadfastness to her craft and vision as an artist. The strength of the King of Diamonds gives her natal Uranus here in the Jack of Hearts, if you remember, her Venus placement, all of those qualities. Neptune, the Six of Hearts, is a very stable and loving card to have in the Neptune placement. Neptune is kind of our blind spot. It's how we might indulge in self-illusions or allow ourselves to be hoodwinked by others. As far as any self-delusions Georgia may have had, we'd look back to her natal Neptune, which is placed in the Venus placement with the Jack of Hearts as well known for being the lover card as well as the artist card. Lovely. In hindsight, I think, I think she turned the tables on any self-delusions and used this illusionary Neptune energy to create a heightened mystical persona. Again, it's supported by the stable and grounded four of clubs. No self-delusion here and driven by the three of diamonds her sun card. Can't make this up. It's just beautiful. So Pluto and the four of clubs. There's Pluto and the four of clubs. This placement is challenging because Pluto likes to expand and blow things up with a blast of energy. Rewards or challenges, it doesn't matter. It doesn't discriminate. Meaning whatever comfort or stability that the Four of Clubs would bring wouldn't last long. So for Five of Clubs, it is always experiencing your gains and losses on a bigger Plutonian scale. However, it is supported by the Five of Clubs, giving the ability to come up with solutions and, and new ideas. And don't forget that she is a Five of Clubs. So the Six of Hearts as the motivating card is lovely because it's emotionally stable and rewarding. Overall, for the whole chart, having a dominance of hearts, five in all, the seven, the jack, the king, the six, Georgia, like all of you five of clubs, would be predisposed to living more of an emotional life overall. So perfectly supporting with an outlet of emotions for you artists out there. It would have been a great pleasure to know Georgia, a true inspiration on all accounts. So creatives, there you have it. I hope you found it entertaining and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. It means a lot to me and my soul and life purpose. 
I'll leave you with a Georgia O'Keeffe's famous quote and words to live by for us artists out there. I've been absolutely terrified every moment of my life, and I've never let it keep me from doing a single thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Good luck on your journey. Thank you.